Hi and welcome to this video. In this video I want to show how to optimize the channels for Wi-Fi when you're using a router and your computer is running OS 10 then you have the option to use a built-in utility that's kind of hidden and so I'm going to show how to find that utility how to run it and then how to set the Wi-Fi channels for both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz on your router. Now my router is a Netgear router but you could probably use the same information, but the screens, of course, for setting the channels will be different if you have a different kind of router. So anyway, to, to do this, you need to be already connected to the network through Wi-Fi. And then you'll see this little symbol up here. If you click on it, you'll see that you can see other Wi-Fi channels in the air. This is my network. There's a lot of other ones in the air. And that's why it's pretty important for me to be able to optimize which channels because there's actually a lot of traffic, Wi-Fi traffic in the air right here. And the thing is, is that the setting I need is usually shown down here, but I don't actually see it right now. Well, the way you get to it is you hold down Option when you click, and you'll see that it adds wireless diagnostics to the menu. So hold down Option, and then go click on the Wi-Fi symbol up here, and then click here. And then that opens this wireless diagnostics introduction. And so from right here, you do hit continue and you let it do this analysis. But the thing that we really want to do is find the wireless utilities. And it doesn't have to do with what's going on here. It has to do up here in the utilities view. So once this is done, take a few seconds more. Once that's done, you don't need to do anything here. But we go up here and you'll see that under window, there's an option called utilities. And this is what we're really after. So you click utilities. And then utilities brings up this multi-tabbed interface. And what we want to look at here is the Wi-Fi scan. So if you click here, you'll see that you have the option for both kinds of networks to hit scan now. So I'm just going to click this and let it do its thing. And it's actually going through and analyzing all of the different networks and what channels that they're using. And then it tells me what my best bet for setting channels. So it says for my 2.4 gigahertz channel, either channel three or four would be good. And for my five gigahertz channels, I can use 36 or 40. So we just need to make a note of these settings and then go into our router. So with this done, I can just close all this and close out of that. Now, if you're on a Netgear router like mine, you can use the IP address, which is 10.0.0.1, or you can use a special URL, routerlogin.net, which is what I'm doing here, and that will take you to the login. Now, you need to put in your user ID and your password, essentially your credentials. By default, it's admin and password for these routers, so if you have one of these, you don't want to leave that set to the out-of-the-box password. So I'm going to put in my password, if you've never set it custom, then you should, because if you're taking this out on a job, then anybody that knows about these routers will be able to log in with the default password, which is simply password. So let's go ahead and log in. Now this is going to scan for potential firmware upgrades, but I'm gonna just cancel that because I don't wanna do that right now. Now in the wireless settings, you've got things like the name of your network, and you'll see that on this particular unit, it actually has two sections. We have the stuff for the 2.4 gigahertz login, and here is the channel selection. So I can set this to either three or four in order to optimize it. So this is where we make that setting. And then if we go down here a little bit, then you can see that we've got the option to put in the optimum channel setting for the five gigahertz. And on this scan, it said it could be 36 or it could be 40. Now, when I've tried this, when I run it where I'm in the same location and the other networks aren't changing, I get the same results every time I run it. If I move my router into a completely different environment, then the optimum channels will change. So if you're taking your router around onto a gig, you can run through this and you can actually optimize the settings. And I think you'll get a lot better performance from your remote devices. And with that done, then you would hit apply down here and it would save that into the router. So those are the basics of, about how to find what the optimum channels are and then how to set them into the router, assuming it's a Netgear. If you have a different brand of router, obviously this screen is going to look differently. Thanks for watching.